Let's go now to CNN Sam Kiley. He is live for us this morning from Kabul Airport. Sam, tell us what you're seeing there now in terms of numbers. We've heard of thousands upon thousands waiting there. Is that still the situation? Well, uh, yes, it is, in that uh, but things are moving much more quickly. So there isn't actually, at the moment, an accurate estimate of how many people uh, are on the base. Yesterday, there were about 14,000. There have been numerous aircraft taking off all day. I've been here about an hour and a half now. I've seen about four at least uh, C-17s taking off, some for the United States of America, some for uh, other, I mean, rather American aircraft. They're not quite sure what their destination is. Uh, they have been able to take a lot of aircraft going into Ramstein after uh, Qatar reached the level of capacity that uh, meant that uh, they had a pause on evacuations. Of course, uh, yesterday, there was also a, a horrific crush outside the airport where there were uh, seven, at least seven people confirmed to have been killed in that crush. Uh, there is much more order, I have to say, inside the airfield, but a great deal of nervousness indeed, because as the Pentagon has been saying, uh, they're insisting that the so-called Islamic State, uh, Daesh, as they're called here, uh, there is active intelligence that they are posing a persistent threat. Uh, to the evacuees who were gathered in huge numbers outside the airfield and, of course, to the international community. And, of course, one of the interesting things about that is that there was one thing that the United States and the Taliban really can agree on, and that is the danger of Daesh, of ISIS. The Taliban have killed a lot of ISIS over the last few years in the, as they've tried to gain a foothold here. And, uh, concomitantly, the ISIS would be very happy to embarrass both and commit some drastic mass atrocity here. That is really seriously exercising the minds of American and other allied commanders here, so much so that Americans are now looking at what they're calling alternative routes to evacuate, uh, particularly uh, foreign <coughs> evacuees, but also Afghans that have worked, been working so closely with them. Uh, this aircraft starting up behind me, uh, the anticipation is that this will go on all night as they try to clear this backlog. But of course, the catch 22 is that the more successful the evacuation is, the more people will try to get evacuated. One of the real issues here is that paperwork is very hard to come by, difficult to trace, and given the huge humanitarian pressure to get people out, it's extremely difficult for the authorities here to cope. But it is yeah. looking, certainly on air side, better than it did in the last few days. Jim? Mm. Yeah, it's something of a Berlin airlift uh, of humanity. Sam Kiley, good to have you there. We know you're doing so uh, at great personal risk to you and your team. Please stay safe.